Hello and welcome back to Electric Lab Africa. Thank you for joining us again. Now, earlier this week, we had a press release from ESCOM, which was very, very good news for South Africa and the whole of Africa. We think as a whole, uh, ESCOM is taking charge. And we think other utilities like ZESA, Tanesco, ZESCO, and KPLC, just to name a few, must also follow suit. Now, ESCOM announced that it is collaborating with a, a couple of stakeholders in the industry in South Africa to unlock the potential of EVs. So they are collaborating with the NGO Hodu Yido, uh, Electric Vehicle Road Trip Africa, uh, Grid Cars, who are also working on charging stations across Africa. They are also working with Jaguar on the Powerway and some major metros like Johannesburg and Cape Town. Now this is a big thing because I think it's a good thing and it makes sense for ESCOM. Any business should be trying to sell a lot more of their product and ESCOM is in the business of selling fuel cars. So it makes more sense for them to drive uptake so they can sell more energy and, uh, from, from electric cars. There was a time when people were saying uh, demand of energy is not going up uh, at the rates it should be because of slowing the economy. But as we bring a new uh, revenue stream from electric vehicles, this will drive demand and this company can get more revenues. I know people might be worried about load shedding right now, but uh, that's temporary. And uh, we're going to do a video where we're going to show you that uh, uh, road shedding is actually not a deal breaker for electric cars in Africa, in South Korea, uh, anywhere else. So yeah, so we're really excited to buzzing about this, uh, that ESCOM is actually working with people to uh, to drive adoption. So the timing is about right right now because they say uh, since 2015, about a thousand EVs have been sold in South Africa. Uh, but we think this is the time now for them to really, really accelerate it. So some of the things that have been, uh, some of the things that have been raised as, as being impediments to, to, to really, really drive the mass scale adoption are the lack of charging infrastructure. But as we said in the previous episode, Grid Cars and Jaguar and a couple of other players are rolling out charging stations across South Africa. So you can actually drive comfortably now from Joburg to Durban and Joburg to Cape Town. The other thing uh, that people were talking about is the range of electric cars available. Now, there was a limited range of electric cars in South Africa. There were essentially two models. The one, uh, for one, the one that has been available long, long, uh, continuously is the BMW i3, but that's going be the 60AH and then the 94 and now the 120AH. Now, with the 60AH, the range was about plus one as well, kilometers. Same with the Nissan Leaf. So, if you're driving from Pretoria to Joburg and back, that range is not really going to move. Be so friendly according to what people, most people's driving habits. But uh, there are a lot of more uh, longer range cars coming out now. The medium range of new cars coming out now is about 200 kilometers. And in South Africa, we're getting more models. So the BMW 120AH is now available. You can get that, and that has a, uh, a range of about 270 kilometers. And the Jaguar I Pace is out now. That has an EPA range of 277 kilometers. And we're getting more cars like the, uh, the Audi e-tron is coming, the Mercedes-Benz EQC. So uh, the issue of range is is, is now uh, range anxiety is now a thing of the past. We're getting longer range vehicles that are more friendly to be doing uh, uh, driving in up and about uh, Houten and in the near and, 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 and surrounding areas. Now the one thing that still hasn't been fixed yet is in South Africa, import duties still import duties for electric cars are still quite high. Uh, that uh, a huge 45 percent, and this is something that we think uh, with the stakeholders coming together, ESCO and all the people, and also the Department of Trade and Industry and the Department of the Environment, they can really, really uh, work on removing that duty. 45 percent is a bit high. So if you look at the pricing of electric cars in the USA and the pricing of the cars in Africa, you can really, really feel the impact of that 45 percent. So, but a lot of headway is being made and we're excited about it. This is exciting times for EVs in South Africa and we appreciate it. I thank Excon for joining in and taking charge. So yeah, that's what we want to discuss today and thank you for watching. And remember to like, share and subscribe and spread the message. Uh, share the channel with your friends so they can, they can also get on this journey. And remember, let's drive electric.